Entertainment giant NBC Universal has joined the Ruderman Family Foundation's call, committing to audition actors with disabilities with each new studio production. Major media and entertainment companies' commitment continues the foundation's campaign to improve the portrayal of disabilities in entertainment and increase the number of roles that cast actors with disabilities. Over the past five years, the Rutterman Family Foundation has spearheaded an effort to change the landscape in Hollywood for people with disabilities. CBS was the first studio to sign the pledge. We heard more about the significance of the development with NBC from Jay Ruderman, president of the Ruderman Family Foundation, and Shira Ruderman, executive director of the foundation. This has been a long time in the works. Uh, we've been in touch with NBC Universal for many years, uh, urging them to uh, open their auditions to actors with disabilities. Um, this comes on the heels of a success we had a couple of years ago with uh, CBS Viacom, uh, where they agreed to a pledge to audition actors with disabilities. Uh, they're both huge um, studios and huge influencers in the entertainment world. Um, but for us, I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a big success. It opens a pipeline where you will now begin to see through maybe smaller roles, but eventually much larger roles, people with disabilities on screen. And I think ultimately it'll have a tremendous impact on society because most of us get to know people who are not like ourselves through popular entertainment. And as we become more comfortable with people who are not like ourselves, um, I think it reduces the stigma that we may or may not have about them and you know people with disabilities are um, they're the largest population in the world, but they're also the most disenfranchised. And in America, they're unemployed at the rate of about 70%. So I think this will, will, will change attitudes. I think it'll change stigma. I think you'll see more people with disabilities working in, in the community. And I think it'll lead us to a more equitable community. Now, what do you mean when you're saying opening auditions. Um, is this about writing particular roles or simply any audition for any particular role is open to anyone, including people with disabilities? Is that not the case now? So uh, the auditioning process has been complicated. Not all auditions are accessible. Um, I think historically uh, disability has been played by actors who do not have that disability. But this is not just about um, opening auditions for particular disabilities and having them authentically portrayed. I think it's also just opening all auditions. And you know, most of the, of, of the roles you see on TV and, and, and in movies are not the lead roles, they're people in the background. So there's no reason that you know, a clerk in, 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 in a bank or a waitress uh, cannot have a disability. I think also, you know, diversity is a big part of um, the entertainment world right now, and, and it's become um, unacceptable for uh, someone who is not African American to play an African American role, or, or someone who's Hispanic to play, who's not Hispanic to play a role of Hispanic and Asian and so forth. But with disability, routinely it's seen as okay, not only okay, but great acting. Um, to see, you know, an able-bodied actor play a disability. And I think we're trying to really change the dynamic there and just show people with disabilities as they are um, and, and more of them on screen. Has this campaign encountered any kind of resistance from the studios where you've tried to make progress, or do you feel more like you've walked through an open door? I wouldn't say resistance. I would say what we've gotten from some studios is like we're already doing this. Um, so the discussion becomes, okay, if you're doing it, then there's a leadership role in saying it because it sends a message to the entire industry. Um, you know, and, and I think also the, the discussion overall in the entertainment industry, which I've come across, is what do you mean? Acting is playing a role not like yourself. Um, and by the way, I grew up in a, in a time where if you saw uh, a Western with, 
with uh, a Native American, oftentimes they were played by people who are not Native American. And, and today, you're not going to really see that. That, that scene is un, unacceptable. So I, I think trying to change the, the mindset about, you know, what acting is and why authentic representation. You know, we did, we did a video with Octavia Spencer where she mentioned in the video the first time she saw um, someone like her played on TV was a show called The Jeffersons in the 70s. And it was so empowering for her. And, and I think that that's an aspect that's sort of been forgotten. That, that the disability community is disempowered when they see an able-bodied actor playing a disability, and they're empowered when they see actors with those disabilities authentically portraying them. What I would add to that is the fact that even though that at times we see a person with disability on screen, I think it's important to understand that they is treated before, that A, the process is not accessible. B, that um, many times the studios or the producers or even the script writers think about it as a specific role. Like you need to create a role for a person with a disability. And usually it's either a funny role or a very sad role. Um, so we wanted to say that the meaning of the pledge has two main impacts. One is a statement that disability is part of diversity on the screen. It's not either or, it's part of it. Number two, when you are committed to open auditions, it means that you have to envision like a pipeline and understand that the entire pipeline is now going to make adjustments in order to be diverse and, and accommodating, meaning from scriptwriters to producers to the studios physically where they do and hold the audition, and they will understand the difference between accommodation to um, art, which is not always uh, uh, the same. And I think it's an important understanding when Universal signs such a pledge, it will impact the industry as a whole. Because, you know, everyone looks up to, you know, the bigger companies and what's their rules and, and what are their accommodations and expectations. And it means that now it will be easier to make other studios and other um, partners in the industry of this important move. So you see them as essentially setting a bar or setting an example which will also uh, resonate and have an effect in other studios as well among other broadcasting companies and production companies. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we, we, we've been successful in engaging two of the major studios in Hollywood. Uh, but there are others out there. Uh, Disney is a big part of the industry. Uh, we've had discussions with Disney, but we're not quite there yet. Um, Paramount, Sony, uh, the streaming services, which have become very popular, especially during COVID, Netflix and Hulu um, and, and others. Um, you know, and, and by the way, you know, we give out something called a seal of approval where we recognize movies and TV shows that authentically portray disability. And all of the networks have have um, have won these uh, these these seals of approval, but you know it's more of a leadership role, and 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 you know leadership comes down to a few individuals within the organization saying this is the right thing to do, and this will help move society forward, and we're going to take that step, and that's a process of discussions and understanding and and. The disability community, which tends to be a very fractured community, you know, understanding that it is a very large, significant part of our society that historically has been segregated. Um, so th there's a lot of education involved, but when it comes together, it's a big win. I think for us, it's one of the most successful things that we've done because I think the ramifications will uh, outlive us. And I think that, you know, you'll see in the future um, a change in, in, uh, in, in how people perceive disabilities. And, and that will take a long time. But I think that, you know, leadership is important. Uh, you know, putting down a marker is important. Jay Ruderman and Chair Ruderman of the Ruderman Family Foundation.